what is going on guys we are back this time talking about boogie and today we're going to talk about boogie faking cancer that is right for two years he was telling people i have cancer cancer treatments are expensive i need money please help me out guys and then he did a cryptocurrency scam a pump and dump and one of the reasons was because of his cancer he needed to pay bills treatment whatnot but then Destiny and other people started looking into it and realized Boogie is lying about cancer. The thing he used as a shield to defend himself against the cryptocurrency scam. Now before we get into that night where all hell broke loose, I want to play you a clip to show you who Boogie really is. When the mask slips off, this is who Boogie is. I'm going to say as much shit and do as much shit as I can to keep your attention so you don't do it to somebody else. I'm here for you to torture me and only me. I'm going to make a living letting you torture me. I'm going to be the next Dark Side Phil. I'm going to be the next Wings of Redemption. I'm going to spend every day online to keep you fucking busy so you don't do it to somebody else. So bring it. But I want you to know I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. They may be pieces of garbage. They may be pieces of shit. They may harm other people, but at least they believe what they fucking stand for. You stand for nothing. Of course, that was his detractors he was talking to. And anyone that criticizes him is absolutely disgusting that you made the comparison. But then again, this is Boogie. He's a fucking idiot. So we start off with Keemstar who puts out a message that he quits Lao Cow Live. But he's putting out one more episode to go out with a bang. And we have Josh here. After Keemstar quit carrying Lao Cow Live, Boogie... Begs Wings of Redemption not to quit because him and Tommy C need the money to pay bills. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. Jordy? Yeah, what's up? There? What's up? What the fuck are you doing? Streaming? I know, I'm talking about with the fucking show, obviously. Yeah. Game's quitting. So, and, and, and there's a paycheck to be had here. You don't want to talk into a microphone uh, for six hours a week for, let's imagine we got half as much next month, 1500 No. Cool. So you want to fuck me up the ass and Tommy up the ass and Keem up the ass? People who've been working with you for you for the last year, is that what you want to do instead? Why are you blaming it, on, why, why you blame it on me? You should blame it on Keem. He's the one walking away. He was always going to, and you knew that. He was never meant to be part of the show to begin with. He was always going to hand the reins to us, and you knew that. I did not know this. How the fuck did you not know it? He wasn't supposed to be part of it from the beginning. It wasn't me, you, Keem, and, and, and Tommy. It was me, you, and Tommy. It was always that. Boogie, you realize the show's going to crash without Keem, right? Sure, and why not get paid until it does? Because the, the paychecks aren't going to be coming. Let's imagine it's half as much next month. That's 1500 I need it. You don't fucking need it. I thought you had a goal. Remember, this is a guy who complained about $20 worth of gas. Yeah, because I, I watch my money like a hawk. Yeah, so you're going to watch it fucking disappear? Is that your plan? I never... You're going to watch a $3,000 check walk out the front door? It was, is that what you're watching? It was, is that what you're watching? It was always going to walk out the front door. Okay, except... Except there's about three or four more even even if you do nothing even if you try even if you just show up and clock in like fucking Tommy and I have in the past we would still get paid and that's a check that's walking out this is a man who was bitching about 20 fucking dollars when I was hanging out with you now you're willing to fuck not just fifteen hundred dollars out of your pocket fifteen hundred out of mine fifteen hundred out of Tommy's and fifteen hundred dollars out of Keem's do you not think you guys could make it I still have to pay you if you don't do your fucking work. Buy, you think about that? Buy me out. You earn 25%. I ain't buying you out of shit. I'll torpedo the goddamn thing before I'll buy you out. Okay. Torpedo it. Show the fuck up to work or get nothing. Now keep in mind 
how much he's defending the other people there. Keep in mind, he's talking about the money and how he needs it. Because this will play into later on. Then the podcast started. And Keemstar, with his manufactured drama, because let's be honest, this whole podcast is all about them faking drama in like an indie wrestling type style. And I love indie wrestling, but... This is not indie wrestling, this is way below it. And everything they've done is clickbait or manufactured drama. Remember, Boogie died two times already, his girlfriend's left him like three times. Wings has quit like four times. So we have this video now. Earlier tonight, Keemstar destroyed Boogie, Wings of Redemption, and Tommy C for being ungrateful, lying losers. I couldn't, it, I couldn't wrap my head around how much I've helped Boogie and, and, and the fact that this show is literally paying his mortgage and he lied to CoffeeZilla saying he couldn't refund that 10 grand because he had to pay a mortgage and he makes no money I, from Local Life. I couldn't wrap that around my fucking head. So I asked him about it. I asked him about it. I said, why'd you say that to CoffeeZilla? And you know what Boogie told me? He goes, oh, well, I didn't think we were getting paid this month because we had to pay for the trip. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Since when is a fucking flight for two fat fucks for wherever the fuck you live to hear $10,000? $10,000! Did you rent the whole front of the fucking plane? What are you talking about? What are you talking? 10000 More like 20000 You know what I mean? There, we, there's no money for an entire month because you guys travel took a travel trip up. Are you fucking insane? Are you fucking insane? Do you know how fucking insane that is? Just the lies just never stop with this fucker. Just never stop. Coffee's like, well, Boogie told me he's gonna lose his house. I'm like, no, Coffee. This fucking show pays for his mortgage. <laughs> Now imagine if Coffee believed that. Imagine if Coffee didn't reach out and have a conversation with me. He'd be going around right now thinking, well, Keemstar is kind of a piece of shit. And that's how the whole first section of the podcast went, is Keem just going off on Wings and Boogie and Tommy. Like I said, manufactured drama for those super chats and memberships. But then something real started happening. Because before this, Destiny was very vocal about Boogie possibly faking his cancer treatment. And he went on the offensive as he joined the podcast. And that's when all hell started breaking loose. And this is from actual drama alert. So Keemstar owned YouTuber Boogie fake cancer according to Destiny. He confronted him on the podcast and Boogie started freaking out. Two years ago, you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you just said now they're doing a biopsy. To confirmation. Check for confirmation. Confirmation. Is this awesome? Are we treating? Are we treating a blood cancer without actually confirming it yet? For two years, you've been being, you've been having a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there. Because it was in my blood markers, and that's pretty goddamn definitive. You can Google that, Destiny. When you, when you have the hormones, when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer, it's pretty goddamn definitive. It doesn't show up for just the. Sh so the whole point is, Boogie says he's diagnosed with it. They're waiting two years to confirm that he actually has cancer, but they've been getting him cancer treatments for two years, which makes no sense. I love the part where Boogie goes. You can Google it. I have a feeling Boogie's doctor is just Google. He looked up the symptoms and said, oh, I have that. And then one of the things you have to do for cancer treatment is to lose weight. So he's buying those weight loss supplements or whatever. And that's what he considers his cancer treatment. Then people started asking him, let's just see the diagnosis from your doctor. That'll clear everything up. You'll get a W. You'll make everyone else look like assholes and he refused to do it. And then it got to a point where people were started offering Boogie money just to see the sheet of paper that says he has the cancer. He can redact the information, so no personal information, just this patient has this. And he refused to do it. Remember, the guy who needs money so badly, worried about losing the podcast because he can't pay his bills. We have Chris the Narc. Boogie Down will do coke out of a Nazi's asshole for money. According to him on Wingstream, 
but won't take 5k for cancer docs to prove him innocent. Curious. Then we have Nicholas Double Stuff Oreo, who shows off his DMs from Boogie, and he says, Boogie said he would show medical records if Destiny asked him nicely last night. Well, I asked him about his condition nicely last night, and he bitched about me by name on stream. And the whole thing is, everyone's not looking for his medical records, just that one sheet of paper that showed that he was diagnosed with the cancer. So we have the DMs from Nick here. And the other thing too is the thing that Boogie claims to have, there's two types. One is cancerous and one is not. The second one is cancerous. So Nick asked him if he has the second type. And then Boogie says, this is specifically what I was told I have. And shows my Cleveland clinic, which is weird because he's from Arkansas, I believe. I don't know what secondary is. The more I think about this, the more I see all this stuff. I am convinced his doctor is Google. He just researched this on his own on Google. Then even Mutahar was going on here, or as DSP says, Mutahar. Appears that according to Boogie's most recent stream ongoing, the man has lied about having cancer for sympathy. Fucking hell. And then Matt Pitt puts this up, Boogie's doctor, and shows Dr. Disrespect. Then we have double stuff again. Boogie is so fucked, he's either done on YouTube or has cancer. Rooting for Boogie is rooting for cancer. He's so fucking cooked. And then it got to a point where Destiny FOMO, I believe she's a Twitch thought. She greases up her big boobs on Twitch and then people donate to write their names on her or something like that. Or she does jumping jacks, I don't know. She's associated with Review Tech USA, that's all I'll say. And then she goes on to add on to the 5K, bringing it up to now $10,000. Plus, she adds on a trip to Disney. Plus, she's going to pay for a flight and hotel. And at this point, Keemstar is trying to get Medicare. And at this point, Keemstar is trying to get Mr. Medicare on the stream. And Boogie fumbles through his med portal, which is his online stuff, which he will never show. And it gets really weird towards the end about that particular thing. And then it got to the point where everyone was on him and he had no more answers. Then Boogie does the thing that Boogie always does. He becomes defensive and angry. And what's the first thing he says is, I'm leaving the internet. So he starts to deactivate his Twitter and YouTube. I don't believe he actually went through with the YouTube one, but I know he did the Twitter. And also because no one was believing him, he decided to quit the podcast as well. Remember, this is after that conversation with Wings where he was angry at him, yelling at him because he was trying to quit the podcast. And he was saying, if you leave the podcast, Wings, it fucks over me, Keem, and Tommy C. But now that people have caught that he's lying about cancer, he's trying to leave it and fuck the other people over. And then one of the biggest moments of this night is people kept pushing back and pushing back. It's like, Boogie, you're diagnosed two years ago. They're giving you treatment for cancer, but they haven't confirmed it. He refused to show his medicals. He's trying to quit the podcast. And Boogie now says, you ready for this? It's possible his doctor lied about the cancer diagnosis for clout. That's right. The doctor was trying to get clout by telling Boogie in private, off camera, and nobody knows who this doctor is, that he has cancer because he wants clout. Is it possible that next time you see your doctor, you just come out and say, do I have cancer? And he says, well, no, it could turn into cancer. Is that possible? I, I guess that's possible. So I would have a really strong case for malpractice. But I guess that's possible. You're, say you're saying that's possible. A person that knows they have cancer would be like, no, no, that is not possible at all. I have cancer. Well, I'm saying I do have cancer and no, it is very unlikely, but I guess it's possible my doctor could be a fucking quack. I guess it's possible he's been lying to me for clout. I guess it's possible that he's been I, giving I, me- I don't, think, I don't think he's lying to you, Boogie. I don't need. I guess people, that's a possibility. But, but, yes. By the way, don't... Then, as you saw at the end, Mudahar was on the panel, confronting Boogie yet again. Boogie's being very defensive. You see his eyes light up, get wide, because he has nowhere to go. He's cornered in, and he's so deep in his lie, he can't give it up. And the fact that that bald idiot, Keemstar, is the voice of reason, tells you all you need to know. And then, at this point, we knew it was all over for Boogie, because we had Mr. Medicur come onto the podcast. And guess what, guys? He knows a thing or two about cancer because he has it. And he even said to Boogie, 
I'll show you how to do it, how to redact stuff so you don't post your personal information because I personally went on stream when people told me they doubt I have cancer and I showed all my stuff and I sold a shit ton of hats. So he's specifically telling Boogie how to do it safely. And at this point, I believe it's up to $30,000 that they're offering Boogie. Here's the thing, because I, I did a stream, you know, because I had people saying, oh, you're faking cancer, Jim. So I showed my diagnosis and stuff like that. I'm going to guess he's working on a system similar to Epic, which most medical people do. Mm -hmm. um, you should be able to go right into diagnoses, and it's going to list everything that a doctor has ever said you had. Yep, I just read it to him. Okay, and so it lists the cancer there? Yes. Okay, so you could screen cap that and just show it. I mean, that's what I did, and then that would be the end of it. Absolutely. And I made the decision two years ago that I would not do that, and I would rather leave the internet than to give the last shred of fucking privacy I have left. I'm well, no, I, and he, here's the thing. I, I understand the privacy argument. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I should have never went public with it. No, but, no, 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 no. no. Let me finish. I mean, you, you can redact information. There's no, there's no issue with that. But just show, I mean, it literally is just a page that says patient diagnosis is. Yep. And then it lists what you have. There's, it doesn't yep. tell you who the doctor is. It doesn't tell you what hospital you go to. It, it literally just says the disease yeah. name. And I won't be doing that. But I don't understand why not. Um, Cause he does I, have I got cancer. A, I got about, I got about, <laughs> he does have cancer. Yeah. That's going to be the narrative they'll go with. So that's what well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm legit trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. When I shit on you for the crypto thing, man, I, I said, I'd take your word yeah. that you had cancer. I'd take your word that, you know, the medical shit's expensive. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I, this seems like I've been, I spent two do. years treating a disease that doesn't exist. These people used to be my friends and I genuinely would have never believed that it would even come to this. And, uh, I just, this is another thing Boogie does is if you criticize him, if you say anything he doesn't like, you're automatically his enemy. You're no longer his friend. Cause how dare you not believe me without any evidence And the whole thing is that you scam people for a cryptocurrency. And your exact reasoning was because you had to pay for cancer treatment and it was expensive. You even said to CoffeeZilla, you can't return the money because you already used it to pay for treatment, but it's not confirmed you have cancer. And you have a person like Medicare here who actually has cancer. He's trying to help you out and your head is so far up your ass. It's not even funny. And for a guy who's complaining about finances, because if you look at his documentary, I think it's like minus $5,000 every month. And in the doc, he says, I only have like three months of savings left. And you have $30,000 at this point on the table just to show a piece of paper and make everyone else look like assholes. And now you want to leave the internet, leave the podcast, which is making you money. Your YouTube channel sure is not making you money. And what's going to happen then? You lose the house? You go homeless? You got no income coming in? What are you going to do? Put uh, Desi over there on OnlyFans? And then we have this from Samuel. Boogie2988 got destroyed by Destiny on stream for allegedly faking having cancer. Boogie wouldn't show Keemstar or anyone any form of medical records and would rather news accounts state that he faked having cancer than share any information. Honestly, a brutal watch. Cancer. <laughs> Lead, Boogie lies about cancer than to hand this shit over to you pieces of shit. That's, that's just, this? I'd rather can do you that. Get, I'd rather can you do get that. Go ahead, print it, Dick Turtle. Go ahead and print it. Can you get your patient portal up on your phone and like send it sure. to Tommy? I'm not going to. Sure, he's, he's, he's never doing that. He does not have a cancer not, diagnosis. Not There's zero percent chance he has one. And, and, and you won't prove it. His face no. And you won't prove no. it. I'd rather if, you go ahead and print it. Print if it. this is true, ahead, if this it. is true, and you lied go about ahead, cancer, this is the biggest scandal on the fucking internet. It's not. But go ahead and print it anyway. Go ahead and print it anyway. Going. I prove it. Prove it. None of you motherfuckers. Fucking prove it. Years ago, and I'm not doing it today. Go right ahead. Print it. Print it the way it is. Go right ahead. I'm okay, it, with it. okay, so I guess just right. to wrap up, because we don't want to take all your guys' time tonight. Very so good. just as a couple things, right? So the story as laid out, yeah. if you look up secondary polycythemia versus polycythemia vera, all of the leading things that Boogie talks about leading to his condition are consistent with secondary polycythemia, not the mutation that would cause polycythemia vera. The things that Boogie says that his doctor wants him to check for afterwards, like doing a sleep study, are consistent with uh, secondary polycythemia, not and primary also, polycythemia. Poly and the fact that he 
says, yet. Also, the fact that he says that he had the blood markers or something to confirm it two years ago, but is now getting a biopsy for secondary confirmation, even though he says he doesn't have the money for medical bills, but I guess now that he does have money, he's going to waste all of it on biopsying things that are already confirmed, or at least confirmed enough, that he wanted to talk about it publicly for two years ago, and then use it to fundraise the money that he now has so that he can do the biopsy. That I don't even think he's doing, by the way. I don't think he's actually doing enough. So does he? To summarize. Dustin, if you just... wanted to disprove it, all he has to do is show a private party this okay, particular medical me... thing, and uh, yeah, it would be. To, 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 uh, to summarize, to summarize, Jesse, you're basically saying he's kind of unlucky; he doesn't have cancer. Uh, for this particular <laughs> case, yeah. <laughs> if, you want, I'll be if, if Boogie can confirm, oh, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, um, nope. and he actually has like a doctor confirmation of the blood cancer, I'll throw five thousand dollars towards his medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not seeing my medical records for twenty, not for fifty. You're not seeing my medical records. Five grand. I said this. I said this. Okay, so then I just want people to remember in the future. Then Boogie says, "I have to do a biopsy of this thing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's the limit, though? It's a bad yeah, limit. I mean, I mean, you can come to understand that he, uh, you know, there's a, a big history of people, I guess, scamming people with cancer, and it's like the worst of the worst. Sure. And you're getting confronted with that right now, and your yep. response yep. to that is, no, no. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. Not, I'm not going ahead. Go I'm just, go I'm not explaining to you. Go right the fuck ahead. I don't I'm care. Not, I'm, what am I, I'm not going ahead with he's anything. He's trying to, he's speaking to you No, I'm politely. saying, run, run, run with the story. I don't care. Now one tell when someone is lying and they know they've been defeated, they have a look on their face like that and not only that they get really quiet and only one word answers. He knows he's done. He knows he can't get out of this, his career's done, everything's done. Once he realizes that people are going to know now that he lied about cancer, it's a point where you can't come back from. And he knows the what 15, 16 years that he built up his career online. It's all gone. No one's ever going to trust him ever again. Then Boogie had another target, which was Nick here. Boogie is now blaming me, saying I set up a group chat. So this is based on the chat we saw before from Nick. Wait, what is he I talking about? So you're going to go live in the gutter instead of taking 25 k to prove these assholes wrong? Let Desi no. down. Oh, no, Desi will be fine. We talked about this yeah, all last night. Be fine back once, at once Nicholas, once when Nicholas, you're the car, dude. Yeah, once Nicholas Diorio sent me this message, we knew exactly what was coming. We talked about this at great length last night. I didn't sleep. How is talk about this? Nick Diorio? Did he did he have something to do with this too? Then or what did I'm he say? Certainly he did. He said, "Do you have what? secondary polycythemia?" And I said, "No. This is what they diagnosed me of." And I linked it to him. But it was a pretty big sign that there was a group chat going. I told Tom about it this morning. <laughs> And uh, I was like, yeah, what do we do, Desi? And we made a decision, and I'm going to stick by that decision. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, this is what we looked at earlier. This is what he's talking about in the video, where he said, no, I don't have it. He doesn't say it on here. It says, this is specifically what I was told I have. I don't know what secondary is. So there's yet another lie debunked by Boogie. And then Medicare and Boogie went back and forth about cancer. And Boogie said he had Boogie... The starter kit the cancer and Medicare has real cancer. And then there was a joke about how Boogie had the Animal Crossing cancer and Medicare had the Dark Souls cancer. And then Destiny talks about how Boogie is faking his cancer and he goes on to reveal why he thinks that and watch Boogie's face just get blank, his eyes get wide, and he knows right here and then he is fucked. Boogie, 2488, you are being confronted tonight. Go ahead. I am 99% sure that you are, you are faking. No, don't move all. You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. Did the doctor ever tell you, or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. So I think it is secondary polycythemia. Um, well, then can you why explain? Would call it, why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mark markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it? 
Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, bone marrow biopsy to confirm it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. Because the and markers confirmed. are in my blood. The hormone markers are in my blood, Destiny. Correct. But you said that you'd received the diagnosis, but now you just told me you got a, a bone marrow biopsy. It's a diagnosis, confirm. and now we're confirming. It's called a sure. confirmation. The, the sure. hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. So and I think we are confirming it with the biopsy everything. because I'm yeah. wanting to do that because I'm praying to God I don't fucking have cancer. You guys don't understand why you won't just go grab a piece of paper and just disprove them. Like you I don't have all these feelings. Because they don't have they have nothing with those And like I said a year ago, when these motherfuckers tried to get hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the one last thing I have left. The motherfuckers were in my marriage. You guys were in everything else. You're in every aspect of my life. Fuck you. Let me have one goddamn thing. You. Can you get your patient portal up on your phone? And like send sure. it to Tommy. And I'm not going to. Sure, he's, not, he's never doing that. He does not have a cancer exactly. diagnosis. Not There's zero percent chance he has one. You just said right. before that you don't have the money for extra medical stuff if they don't need that test to well, confirm just, cancer. Right? You just about, spend extra you money on a test that you don't need. Sure, have you heard of this, Destiny? I just got a bit of a windfall. Ooh. Might have heard about it. We have. What's that? What's a windfall? He did a ten thousand dollar crypto scam uh, using partly his uh, cancer thing as an excuse for why he needed to scam his fans. And then this is what I was talking about when I said the Animal Crossing of cancer. Did very different starter, did you say starter kit like you haven't started having cancer no it's like the it's the begin it's like the tutorial version of cancer what, what does that make is, sense the it's the easy thing, one if you're gonna get one this is the one you, you want to get live, you can live forever in this thing it, it rarely kills people it's it's not the really. dark souls of cancer that's no, right yeah, so yeah, this yeah, would it's, be... it's, the, it's <laughs> the animal crossing of cancer you have the dark souls of cancer yeah. uh, no, I, I, i'm not even close so um then another thing Boogie does is he tries to deflect and confuse. So what I mean by that is when he gets caught doing something, he'll go on a different topic to confuse you so that you talk about that topic instead of the thing he got caught in. And this is no different. Boogie tried to pivot off the cancer stuff the saying he pinned down an abusive ex-girlfriend and he wants to confess. I told one of these guys this in private, I'm not entirely certain. My very first girlfriend was physically abusive to me. And so as, as part of my childhood, when we were 16, 17 years old, because she would hit me and stuff, I ended up holding her down. I ended up pinning her against the wall to make her stop hurting my, hurting me and hurting herself. And I've carried tremendous guilt about it for my entire life. And I well, know as soon as I ever said that, it would mean that people would think I beat women. And well, so I've held it in. I, 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 I literally, I literally don't no care. Nobody cares about that right Thank now. Thank you. That reminded me a lot of DSP when he's on side scrollers. And he said, oh, is there anything else you want to say before we end it, Phil? And then DSP started talking about his wife's restraining order and how her ex used to beat her. Same type of deal there. Then we have Turkey Tom here. Boogie is willing to scam his fans for 10k, the cryptocurrency, but won't prove he has cancer for 30k. Make of that what you will. And I believe at this point, it went up to $50,000 plus that Disney trip. And of course, Boogie back to the corner he knows he's caught in lies so he tries to pull a cyrax he starts getting naked on camera and possibly trying to show his dick even if he can find it colossal is crazy boogie pig after being exposed for lying about cancer for two years and using to promote a scam decides to get naked on a live stream as a last resort then wings of redemption makes a very excellent point here is that the two of them had to box a match they had to get medicals so how did Boogie pass the medicals if he had that cancer? Go ahead, go ahead, When, go when ahead. we did the fight, there was this big packet of papers that we had to, file, to fill in to get a boxing license. And all yes. that packet of papers, you had to say everything that you've been diagnosed with. Would you not have access to that from Happy Punch? Ooh. Didn't the fight happen before the diagnosis? Well, I thought it was two Wait, years. Hold on. If Boogie had cancer, how the hell did they let him fight? Because it's polycythemia vera, not fucking ass cancer. Tip Bro, trip. you passed your medical records. Yes. How did you pass your medical records? Because I had polycythemia vera, not ass cancer. That's a great point. What the fuck? How did because, you pass your medical records? Because it is the fucking animal match. crossing of cancers. I don't know. How did I do it with a busted back? How did I do it with like barely stand up? I don't fucking know. Make that make sense. Then it got to the point where Boogie wouldn't back down. He was getting very quiet and he refused to show anything and it went up to $60,000 for a guy who scammed people for $10,000.
and was worried about losing his house and paying his bills. He had $60,000 just to show a piece of paper from a doctor that says he has this cancer. And it got to a point where he brought his girlfriend on stream to tell her he's not going to reveal his medical information and then she ran away. Hopefully when Boogie loses all the money, she'll run away for good and actually get the chains off and actually be able to leave the house. Then it went up to $65,000 plus the Disney trip, paid hotel and flight. And he refused to do it still. And he kept saying how he's not lying about the cancer and he refused to show any proof even though he needs that money really bad. This is going to get dumb very, very fast. Is what really is the end reason? What is the end reason? There's, there's already I would, I would not walk away from my house. I would not walk away from 50k. I would not walk away. I would not walk away from an internet career that's going to give you revenue. That's going to give you are, money. Are, I would not walk away from shitting on these people yeah, and we are proving them wrong. People. We are different people. I yeah, you're looked, being, look, you're being ridiculous. Look, Jim, about again, it. since we're not live, I can say this. I've been looking for an exit plan for a while. This is an awful exit plan. No, it's so now. It is up to $85,000, almost $100,000, almost half of what he used on hookers back in the day. And he knows he can't prove anything. He knows he's lying and he's had it, his breaking point. And he rage quits the podcast. You have the polycythemia or whatever the fuck your disease is. You sure. told Destiny, you asked me, did I not ask you nice enough? I don't respect you. So, <laughs> I oh Destiny. no! What am I gonna do? I'm just saying I don't respect you. I'm, I respect Destiny, but you're actually right in calling me on this. I certainly would not have shown Destiny. I would have probably stood on on my principles. Yeah. Your principles? What principles do you have? You just scammed your fans for ten thousand dollars. Yeah, and that is different from tweeting out my medical records and showing my medical records. And I yeah, what? it's crazy. <laughs> The fucking Twilight Zone? Is this what am I? It's just it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it is what it is. Well, you guys have a great night. <laughs> you too, Boogie. Yo, the fucking mm. cops around him doing medical checks tonight are gonna be working overtime. I'll say. So we're never gonna see him again. That's the end of Boogie. Yeah, that's it. No, we'll see no. he's disappeared. He'll, he'll be here Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see him Tuesday. <laughs> Can you, can you, I guess the dog is mourning him? <laughs> and even Wings of Redemption knows the boogie cycle. Even he says he's not gone. He'll be back Tuesday. And throughout the whole podcast, Boogie kept talking about how he might end it all and with suicide baiting because anytime he's confronted with criticism, that's his go-to. So the podcast ends and Keemstar puts this out. I just got off the phone with Boogie. He's not suicidal. No need for wellness checks. I can't say too much without leaking private information, but I will say that he has agreed to do tests for cancer at some point in the future that will be available to the public. So you're telling me this whole time he was saying he had the proof, he just didn't want to show it. Even for $85,000 plus a free trip to Disney, he had it right there on his phone. But he's going to do another test to prove he has cancer and show that for free to the public. I don't understand why you wouldn't just show the first one. Why do you have to get a second test? Of course, it's just Boogie caught in a lie yet again. Then Keemstar was asked about kicking Boogie from the podcast. And this is Keem's response. I'm starting to see like a little campaign growing on Twitter for me to kick Boogie2988 off of Local Live Show because he allegedly he faked having cancer. I'm not gonna kick him off the show. I'm not. His punishment is being on the show where he can be confronted and held accountable for the shit he does. And we've been doing this since day one. In fact, this wouldn't even be happening right now if he wasn't on the show and being confronted with this. So yeah, his punishment is staying on the show. He can say that he's quitting the internet all he wants, but I will get him back on that fucking show and we will confront him further. His punishment is to stay on the platform, let him spout his BS yet again and get paid for it. What a punishment. And yet another example of the bald idiot choosing money over morals. Then Keem kept trying to sweep this under the rug and go to bat for Boogie. Of course, everyone else was not buying it. We have Doe Jingles. He can request lab work, but it doesn't necessarily mean the doctor will just order it because he's asked. If the cancer was at all seriously suspected, 
they would have likely tested until it was confirmed or ruled out. Not sat on a serious possibility for two years. Then we see a tweet of Boogie's June 28th, 2024. I learned already to do that. The cancer is fucking expensive. I'm at the beginning stage and I can't afford it. When this shit turns into leukemia, I'll be utterly fucked. I believe people are saying it takes 20 years to do that. Boogie won't be alive in 20 years. And Mudahar quote tweets this and says, I'm thankful Boogie's cancer hasn't turned to leukemia. Now his fans don't have to worry or financially support him over it. Then as you see, his Twitter is now deactivated. And his brother came out who's a doctor and said, for all the people that are trolling him, he does actually have cancer, which is very suspiciously timed. Then we have this one from Leia. I found this banger, LOL. Boogie's dad died of lung cancer and he sings about it. The dude is seriously fucked in the head. I think it's safe to say Boogie doesn't take cancer seriously in general. Actually, guitar guy has joined us and I wrote some lyrics and I hope you enjoy, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my dad is dead. Yeah, my dad died. He had lung cancer and it made him die. And thanks to God's mercy, he drowned in his own blood. He drowned in his own blood. He drowned in his own blood. Yeah, dad died and he drowned in his own blood. He drowned in his own blood. He drowned in his own blood. Jesus loved him, so he drowned in his own blood. He drowned in his own blood. He drowned in his own blood. It sucks! Then we have this from the podcast Twitter. Lalkow Live returns Monday at 6 p.m. Boogie says he's ready to face the music. Now, a lot of people have been saying, this is Boogie, he's going to prove that he has cancer. Even though he can't have a test done in that short period of time. And that phrase there, Boogie says he's ready to face the music. If anyone doesn't know what that phrase means, what it means is be confronted with the unpleasant consequences of one's actions, which indicates that Boogie might actually come clean about everything he's done, lied about, all the crypto stuff, the cancer stuff. It'll be interesting. So if there's any updates, I'll let you guys know. So don't forget to click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.